Summertime is here. Bennett's family spend some days at the beach. The children had fun building sandcastles, paddling in the water, and playing games. But a problem came suddenly. Bennett and Evan were playing soccer a little too close to a beach cafe. Bennett kicked the soccer ball hard towards the goal and directly hit a glass jug. The jug fell, crashing into pieces. The boys were so scared, they grabbed the soccer ball and ran. After running for a while, they were exhausted and stopped. Bennett was almost crying. I didn't mean it, Evan. Maybe we should have stayed and owned up. But Bennett, you broke the jug. I'm scared the owner might be very angry. Later that afternoon, Bennett and Evan entered a sandcastle competition. Their castle was big and round with tunnels and paths. They were very proud of it. Suddenly, a big boy ran past. He was laughing and pushing his friend, who fell onto Evan and Bennett's castle. Hey, you should look where you're going! Shouted Bennett angrily. Not shouting back at Bennett, the boy looked down. I am really sorry. I didn't see your castle. Can I help you rebuild it? The boy's sincere apology reminded Bennett and Evan about the earlier incident with the soccer ball, and they felt guilty. The big boy soon helped Bennett and Evan to have the castle back in shape. Later, Bennett spoke to Evan. Evan, I think we were wrong to run away and did not say sorry when we broke the jug. Yes, said Evan. It isn't too late. Let's go back to the cafe. When they arrived, they asked to see the owners of the cafe. Bennett slowly said, "We're so sorry that we broke the jug. It was just an accident. We didn't mean to." The owner looked at the two boys and smiled. "That's all right, boys. Now you have done the right thing. I accept your apology." Bennett and Evan were happy. They went back to the beach to continue their summer fun games.